Sid here and my mama girl. And then of course my fur child Zoe. So this evening we are going to show you a little bit of my skincare routine at night. Now this varies, okay? I have a few different routines and they all take around 30 minutes or less depending on what type of night I had, if I went to work, my work prom face, I call it my work prom face because it's full glam lipstick, eyeliner, blah, 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 blah. Or like my out party face, which is glam plus, you know, that's levels to this, glam plus. That's with everything but, you know, more expensive foundation because I'm trying to beat that, you know, you know how it is. And then I got my running errand face, which is minimal makeup. So it just depends on the type of day I've had, how my skin is doing. I got days where I've got crazy breakouts on my chin. Y'all know that time of the month. Um, so I got days like that. I have days where I'm just feeling more dry. I did a face mask earlier that week. It just depends on what type of skin week I'm having, particularly day. So um, today I went out, ran a few errands, put on light makeup. It's been a very long day, so I know I'll probably look like who did it and what. So uh, I am ready to uh, go to sleep very, very soon. So what about you? You tired? Oh yeah. Yes, girl. Exhausted. We had it's a been long, a hot, hot day. Me and Mama girl had a long Ooh. day, girl. Yeah. So she is gonna follow my routine. She has like flawless skin. She really does anything to her skin, okay, y'all? And she doesn't even look nowhere near her age. So I am the one that has the 14. Ah! <laughs> I'm the one that has the 14 different steps and the this and the that. But I guess it just depends on what type of week I'm having. So don't judge me. Listen, I don't care. I don't care if I get in at 3 a.m., y'all. I don't care if I get in at 5 a.m. and I gotta be up at 7 a.m. I do not skip these processes because I wanna have flawless skin forever. Cardi B boys. So I like to start off with some makeup remover. Depends on, you know, whatever you like. I like micellar water. This one is the all in one mattifying your removes makeup and cleanses and purifies your pores. You don't have to rinse it, no harsh rubbing. And then I usually always wear my matte lipstick, so it's very hard to come off. Clearly, I'm rubbing ain't nothing, ain't nothing on my hand. So um, this gets that off in one or two swipes. So I like these little, these little cotton balls, but you can use regular cotton balls too. Nothing major. Mom can use regular because she ain't got no makeup on barely, so she got flawless skin. <laughs> I don't really want on the hand, okay? I have my weeks. I'm not sure what week it is today. We gonna see. So I just start off by dousing this. So I use around four, like around three of these front and back completely to fully get my makeup off. This is my night routine. This is my routine. My night routine on a simple face. Okay. Like I said, I got a night routine on a prom face, aka my work face where I, you know, put my makeup on thick and heavy and flawless. I have different, you know, different types of night routines. So this one is just on my, my running errands face. So mom's gonna do what I do. So, how does this feel on your face so far? Feels really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm surprised that I don't have to wash my face. Yeah, like this like, takes care of all of that. And this is my one. And eye makeup too? Yeah. Okay. But look how gross this is on one. <laughs> it makes you look like, dang girl, what your face been through that day? That's kind of weird. So then I use two. And now to get off, I like to get off um, like mascara and stuff. You don't have to rinse it, but I like to just take a pat and then just sit it on my eye to like loosen it up a little bit. Okay. And then... Like I said, when you use your matte lipstick and stuff, you need a whole separate one for that. It gets it off great, but you don't want to use one that you already been using. Then all of a sudden you end up rubbing it. Now you got red. <laughs> <laughs> you got red, so now you look like a clown. clown. Now, you look like, <laughs> yeah. now you look like a clown. Okay. So what do you usually do? I bet your, your skin routine be so quick and easy, don't it? But yet you taught me all of this. I usually use mineral oil to get my eye makeup off. Simple. It comes right off. And I usually use the um the gentle um micellar water. The gentle um, cleanser. Yeah, yeah, we also use micellar water. This is the Cetaphil. Cetaphil. I'm yeah. this can... micellar water girl. <laughs> I wonder why I keep on saying that. Cetaphil. Right, right. Cetaphil. Um usually it's pretty good. Um 
what I'm liking about what you said about the masala water is that the masala water. <laughs> my mom is from Jamaica, if you haven't noticed. Masala is, water is is sometimes you don't really have yeah. time. You don't feel like always washing your oh, face. Girl, I know. You drive home from you the club. Long, right. Goodness. So, so apparently this, you know, you can just use it to take off the makeup and everything. Whereas I normally use the Cetaphil mm -hmm. and obviously you have to rinse it off right. and it's soapy and everything. But it's very gentle. Um, it works for me, but I'm liking this because I just want to turn it and go to bed right now. All right. And I won't have to rinse. Exactly. Right? Pretty much. So right. I use two to get my lipstick off. Mm -hmm. And I'm good. So yeah. So like Ma said, the masala water already it gives me such a cool and refreshing. It feels feel. really cool. Like my it's skin literally feel like I just washed it. it I'm feels surprised. So, um yeah. It feels amazing. Yeah. yeah. It really does. It feels really, really great on your skin. Like it, it feel it leaves your skin feeling very calm and, and and cool. And cool. Yeah, that's and, what I was looking for. And very, cool. and very clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very clean. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. So, like I said, you guys can use as many or as little as you want. You can sometimes use just a few. Well, just like two pads or so to get your makeup process going before you take it off. And then, you know, go wash, wash your face. But, like I said, tonight is a quick, quick one. A quick routine. It's that I gotta be up at work at 4 a.m. and it's already 10 o'clock <laughs> type of routine, okay? So, mama, me, don't got that much time in her, okay? All right, so now that we've done, what were we saying? I was gonna say, I like, I like dragging it down onto my neck yeah, too. Ooh, you yeah, you to clean I, your neck. And you all, at some point, you always told me to do everything oh, you do to your face to your neck. To your neck and your decollete. Seriously, because right apparently your neck and, and your, here too. your neck yep. and your hands age you before yes. your face yes. does a lot of times. So, so sometimes you see somebody that that's only 25 and then you look at their hands and their neck and then just look all old and crusty. Not <laughs> really. I mean, you ain't old and crusty. Your neck and stuff look fine. Not Get you, girl. There. No, it's not. Right, you know, so. we, so we just gonna buy you a new neck. If you ever oh, okay, that way. thank you. New neck, you get a new neck, you get a new neck, you get a <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now that we're done with that, yeah, look at these, they look so great. Me and my look at moms. <laughs> Me and my look at mine. Uh, so now that we're done with gross. this. Ew. Now that we are done with this. Yeah, I have a few dark spots that I'm still working on. It seems like one pops up every other day on day. All right, it's like, hey, remember me? I'm black. I'm here. I'm, I'm ain't going nowhere. So I like to use Trentinoid Cream. I went to a dermatologist a few months ago. I know this looks all old and crusty, but I promise it works wonders. So I went to a dermatologist a few months ago, and she prescribed some Trentinoid Cream. You don't use this in the sunlight because it what like dies. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it 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 actually will make um create dark spots. Yeah, it will actually yeah. create dark spots. So you spots. want to use it at nighttime, mm -hmm. um, from what you were, you had told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just use it at nighttime. A little bit goes a long way. Don't use too much because then your skin will be crusty, like a piece of amount, mm -hmm. or maybe like a half a piece of amount. You, you just rub it in, rub it, in, rub it in. Once it dries, then you put your. So apparently after you rub this in, yes. then you use just a pea size just of pea lotion. Size. Whatever yeah. your preference of lotion is, yeah. pea size, very pea small size. amount, pea boom. Size. I like to spray my pea yeah. size too. Yeah. Rub it on it my... Causes, it causes rapid cell turnover. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what, it, like it, exfoli it, it exfoliates. Yeah, yeah. So, you rub it in. As and you'll, as you can, yeah, you'll feel um, this drying quick too. I, I haven't had any breakouts lately. I have. Thank goodness. I, I, I always got breakouts. But I like to just wait. I use this also. Especially that time in the month, y'all turn into like a, oh a puberty, gosh, right? a 16 year old fighting puberty, okay? Mm -hmm. So now that we've done that, yeah, let, it dry, right let it dry. Sometimes if you if you put it on and you don't give it a chance to dry or you know dry and then you put the lotion on, it'll feel like it's burning a little bit. Yeah, you don't want that. But you have to use moisturizer with it. So we've been using olive oil 
my I opinion on this. Since I was 14. She's been using this since she was 14. <laughs> she instilled that into me when I was 14. Like whatever time I think that's changed the formula a few times since yeah, then. I have the sunscreen one for during the day before yes. my makeup, and then we have, have the nighttime sunscreen. one. Yes. So the one that I use during the day has SPF 15 in it, yes. I believe. That's a little bit. Just a little bit. And the little SPF bit 15, goes such a and long then way. this one is our nighttime one. Same yes. brand, but different formula. So now this dry. About this much. Now this dry. It's been about okay. a few minutes. So Fanning. I just usually pat it on my face. And I extend it down onto my neck. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the neck mm -hmm. and the décolleté right here. The what? The décolleté. The décolleté. The décolleté right, right here. Girl, Roy's our little décolleté. Ah, oh, same. Same, girl, you know. Exactly. Mine's, mine is Jamaican. Mm -hmm. Mine is Jamaican. You know, us, ah. our kids, we're Jamaican. And sometimes I'll even put a little on my hands. Oh, because you want to have a young, sexy hands. My hands. Yes. So this is not anything official, just simple and basic, right? Yeah, this is my quick yeah. 20 minutes. Like I said, sometimes my, y'all. Not, e not even 20 minutes, right? I do that. But it depends, on what, type of, hand, it depends right. on what type of skin week I'm having, y'all. Yeah. Sometimes my day on. I think I'm, I'm having a pretty good skin, I'm skin having a, week. I'm having an okay one. Yeah. It could be better, but then again, I always feel like it could be better. But then, you know, when you yeah. wear makeup every single day, yeah. your skin kind of just changes. You gotta make sure you wash your brushes. Your sponges. Definitely. Sometimes you forget to wash them, wash them, but you can't go more than a few days to a week, if that. And sometimes you have to have two sets that way. You do, um, so that while one is drying, drying, you got another one. Yeah. Yep. So that's what I'm having to do lately, but overall, I feel really good. Okay, so I washed my hair earlier, and it dried kind of weird. I'm not a total fan of these waves that it created, so I am going to, I know, I'm sure it looks okay, but I don't know, I ain't really a fan of it. So what are you gonna do to your hair? Your hair, you see this well, how this how I want my curl lush. Mine look all weird. <laughs> well, I keep it very very simple. Usually I wear just two French braids. Okay. And one you, on one side, one on the exactly. other. Exactly. You normally wear one though, right? I normally wear one. Try two. But if I don't wear one, then I right. for sure. Do flexi rods, but my hair already has like an odd curl, so I don't really think I'm I need flexi rods at the moment. But the only thing Maybe like you should do flexi rods one day. The yeah. only thing, yeah, let's you do. Need to show me how to do that one. Yeah, day. mom does not know how to do flexi rods. Oh my at all. gosh, I tried one time, I ended up with a big poofy mess. Flexi rods are my go-to hairstyle, but I think tonight I'm gonna just do three braids. Oh, and I'm gonna make sure I braid it all the way down to the end because I don't want my ends to be ratty looking, you know. I hate when it's curled up here and then my bottom looks so like you forgot about me. So yeah. I'm gonna braid mine all the way to the end. I'll leave my ends out. But you, yours has a nice curl I on keep the it ends. Simple. Yours has a nice curl because I washed mine. My ends are getting more straighter than yours. You have a nice curl on yours. Okay. So I am gonna just put mine in three braids. Comb it through with my comb. Attached to my. <laughs> yeah. I've been calling my nails my comb forever. So brush it through, comb it through my comb. Or I can use my denim brush, whichever, or, but like I said, I just washed it. So my denim brush, sorry. I just washed it, so I'm not trying to brush out the waves too, too much. I kind of just want them to be more natural and then just be what they're going to be, if that makes sense. Exactly. So. I normally, I'm going to just throw two rod, two rollers up here. Right. I'll probably do that a little bit later so I can right. just have my, you know. Your soup. Right. My soup, right. Yeah. So I will leave that out. That little part out. Usually I just like swoop mine this way. And I always sleep, always, always I sleep with a silk pillowcase. Oh yeah, that's or key. Or a satin pillowcase. That is key. And I always put a scarf made out of any kind of satin material. This week is the pink one. Just a piece of um, remnant from the fabric store. I cut it and use, use the other pieces for other things. That's actually and, a really good idea. Yeah. And it's cheaper and I can get whatever length I want. Yeah. And as you can see, it's a little ratted, but it's satin and it keeps your hair from getting ragged or um, shedding. And this keeps your hair looking smooth. And so if I don't sleep with my scarf on, right. I'll definitely sleep with 
my That's what I was thinking. second pillow. That case. you can just fall asleep on right. it and you'll be okay versus right. cotton. I always right. felt like cotton. Sometimes when I used to sleep on a cotton pillowcase, y'all, I would wake up and like some of my eyebrows would be missing. Yes. Like not yes. being funny. I would be like, where? Yeah. I mean, I already have naturally thin eyebrows for the most part, but mm -hmm. I'm like, where the heck is my yes. brow? Or, I mean, I know I have more brows than this. Or, or you sleep on the cotton pillowcase and your hair is very rough feeling. Yeah. So I have a satin pillowcase. I do too. We're talking about pillowcases. Yes. And I got a silk one too. Well, mine is red. I don't have it mine is on turquoise. me right now. And I like mine. Mine comes in a pair. Mom makes hers, which is cool too. <laughs> but I'm more of the lazy type. So I actually got these from the store. And I actually have the sheets that match it, which I don't use a sheet because it's such a, a loud color. <laughs> but I do use this. And the good thing about this is I keep one at home and then I take one to my different layover hotels with me. So when I tell y'all, I'm one of those that bring their own sheets, own pillowcases to the hotels. <laughs> Because I'm in so many hotels per week, it's just and eh. first couple of days like oh okay when you first start a job or you know you travel lots like, oh okay I'm in a new hotel. A couple of years in, you're like uh, I don't really know they really wash these sheets like that. Plus, or, or you can be allergic to the detergent. See, I no, I'm not being funny. It's not their fault. I actually Everyone was allergic different. to the detergent. Yeah. I back in the day, I would sleep on the pillow. I would wake up, guys, and my entire face that I slept on, yes. the side that I slept on, would have these weird pimple breakouts. And I knew that nothing has changed in my routine exactly. besides sleeping at this particular hotel. So now. So it's the laundry soap. It's the laundry Some soap. It's the bleach. Allergic. Exactly. Yeah. So now, so we only sleep on these. Just put your pillow in, and you are good to go. Yes. I am gonna tie my scarf on here for now because I'm not one of those that can just. Even though I have a silk pillowcase, I'm not one of those that can just sleep in this late. Let the hair just do its own thing, girl. <laughs> I'll wake up, girl. My hair would be okay. Listen, already out the door. My hair be on the floor somewhere. <laughs> I'm not one of those that can do that. Shout out to y'all that can. So, but it's good because my scarf is also silk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I just go ahead and I tie right. this baby. Well, this is a scarf that I just I just bought the remnants from the fabric store, and I just cut it any old kind of way. Mm -hmm. And but that's perfect. You basically made one. You basically made what I got on right now. <laughs> exactly. And plus, it's pretty. You know, it's pink and yeah. So. That's what I did. Oh, so cute. But I look at <laughs> So thank you guys so so much for watching us. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> one more one more time. Ma, ma, see, we look awkward. Like you gotta go a different way, either over or under. We gonna work on that. I'm gonna have to talk okay, to my I'm gonna nice talk to my back. viewers. I'm gonna have to talk to my viewers because y'all know we are a nice close-knit fam. So mine gotta go, mine has to go. <laughs> mine gotta go, okay? So thank you guys so, so much for watching, for your support. I love you guys so, so much. Like, subscribe, comment, most importantly, subscribe. I need all of y'all to subscribe to me. Please tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother. Stay tuned. Let me know in the comments below what else y'all want to see. I love hearing feedback from you guys, all right? And I definitely listen.